Catalog your data with NeoFinder. Before NeoFinder can find your files, it is important to catalog everything first. That is quite easy. You can use the main menu, New Catalog from Volume, New Catalog from Folder, or the plus button here, or you can simply drag in the folder or the disk. You did know that NeoFinder can catalog just folders too, right? Okay, so here is the most important settings window, the cataloging preferences of NeoFinder. They decide what data gets added to the NeoFinder catalog and what not. This greatly influences what NeoFinder can find, but also the speed of cataloging and the resulting data size. So make sure you set it up just to your proper needs. So let's see what we have. Here we can set up, do we need to get thumbnails of, catalog, uh, of photos? And how large? And uh, well, 640 is not much. Can we have more? Yes, you can. But for that, you need to use the extended catalog format. This was introduced in NeoFinder 7, and uh, it will only work with NeoFinder 7 and newer. So if you still have an older version, don't use it. But if you just use NeoFinder 7, that's what you want to do. And then you can have all kinds of sizes as well. OK, let's put them up. 24. Same thing about videos. Should NeoFinder catalog the metadata and previews? Yes, it should. What about music? Yes. And for music, you can even get audio previews, short audio snippets of the song files. OK, let's have that too. Should NeoFinder get some information about text files, some little text excerpts? And well, it's a long list of formats. Yeah. What about fonts? NeoFinder is the only tool in the market that is able to catalog fonts and give you little thumbnails as well. OK, so we want them too. The second section here, the archive files. Um, what types of archives do we want to look inside? Um, zip files, stuff it, RAR, tape archives. And the most interesting thing here is disk images. If you use disk images, that is incredibly helpful, and only NeoFinder can do that. And if you select that option, NeoFinder will look into the content of that disk, every disk image it catalogs. That's really powerful. OK, so and what should NeoFinder ignore? Well, invisible items, alias files, finder labels, package contents. You can just set it up what you need. Next here is what levels to include. Do you wish the whole hierarchy of folders or maybe just a few levels deep into the folder structure? You can decide. Then, should NeoFinder catalog the comments of your files and folders in the Finder? Should it generate file check, which is a checksum for every single file, which you can later use to verify if the file has been changed or not? Should it read the Finder tags? Maybe a version info from bundles? And last, you can set up NeoFinder to generate an automatic serial number for new catalogs. That's pretty useful um, if you want to have a unique number set up for every catalog that you create. Here you can ask it if this dialog that you see here, if that should always appear for every cataloging session. And you can also say, OK, I want to save these as the defaults for the next cataloging regardless of what I do. In that case, these are very specific for this folder that I want to catalog, so I don't do that. Please remember, these settings are stored inside the catalog and then later be used for updating, which is quite useful, actually. Updating a catalog is needed when files in the catalog have been changed, deleted or added, so that NeoFinder is kept up to speed as to what happens on your disks. OK, then start cataloging. When all is catalogued, you can browse through the data just as you would with a finder after it is completed. OK, here's everything that we have catalogued, just as the finder would display it, just better. But you cannot just browse it, but you are also now able to find it all with NeoFinder. Enjoy! <laughs>